Welcome to Trade Ideas. I'm Jake Merle, sitting down with Doug Bush of Chartsmarter.com. Doug, great to have you back on the show. Thanks as always for having me. So today we're going to be looking at two specific trades, both a long and a short. But before we get into it, we're going to be taking a look at the overall market. So what are you seeing there? Well, you know, t- to be frank, let's give credit where it's due. Every major S&P sector is higher by at least 6% year to date, and that's an excellent sign. But there are a couple concerning things I'm seeing. Number one is Apple. The stock is 19% off its most recent 52-week highs, and it's bad as trading just underneath its 200-day moving average. That stock is actually the NASDAQ's largest component, so it's basically a proxy for the market. So if that stock can actually break above that 200-day moving average, I'd be a little more positive. Secondly, I was taking a look at the ratio chart comparing the Russell 2000 to the NASDAQ. That took a dip in the month of March. And that's a little concerning because small caps are often seen as leading indicators. Uh, This small cap benchmark is also just below its 200-day moving average. And believe it or not, in the month of March, it lost more than 2%, and the S&P rallied 1.5%. That's happened just one time in history before in the month of March of 2000. And we know what happened shortly after that, the market cratered. All that being said, the Russell is still higher by more than 14% year to date. It's trading between the round 15 and 1600 numbers the last month. And a break above 1600 would qualify as a break above a bullish inverse head and shoulders pattern. So right now, are you bullish, bearish, standing on the sidelines? I'm still bullish. I'm still bullish. I mean, the trend is still higher. But, you know, the, the, those are the two concerning things I'm looking at. But, you know, I, I, again, I'm just a price action guy. I follow the trends, and I like to follow the specific stocks. So with that in mind, what are the stocks we're looking at today? You're recommending both a long and a short idea. Is that right? Correct. Correct. I'm recommending a pair trade within uh, technology, both old tech names. The first one is Cisco doesn't really need an introduction. It's higher by more than, uh, it's higher by 24% year to date. Sports a nice dividend yield of 2.6%. It's trading at 18 year highs. It's up 11 of the last 14 weeks and the three declining weeks lost less than 1%. So that's a good sign. It's trading well post breakout from a 49.24 double bottom trigger that it took out on February 15th. And we know the best breakouts tend to work right away. The chart trades in a very taut fashion, hallmark bullish traits. Uh, A flagpole there began at the round 40 number late last December. I want you to enter with a buy stop above a bull flag trigger of 54.25. A breakout carries a measured move to 69 and use a stop of 52. So I know the charts look good, the technicals look good, but it's trading at 18 year highs. I mean, that doesn't worry you? Not at all. I mean, stocks, I mean, I, I like to buy stocks on the upper right and, you know, buy high and sell higher. I know that the, the axioms, you know, buy, buy low, sell high. I'm a, a relative strength guy. This stock, the trend is like we say, they're, they're more likely to persist than they are to reverse. Sit on your hands. That's how you make the most amount of money. And do you have a time horizon for this trade? Not really. Um, you know, it's, uh, you know, Cisco is more of a, you know, I wouldn't call it a defensive play. It's a more mature play. So you know, maybe you could call it a super tanker. It's hard to move this thing one way or another. But the trend is definitely higher. And it's going so in a gradual fashion, which I like a lot. Are you looking at any of the fundamentals or just the technicals? Just the technicals. Right. Yeah. And so moving on to your next trade, the short idea, what are we looking at? Uh, another old tech play. This is Citrix Systems, CTXS. It's actually lower 3% year to date as this market has just skyrocketed. It's also uh, underperforming a very strong overall software sector, obvious relative weakness. So last week, the stock lost nearly, uh, lost almost 1% as the IGV, the software ETF, rose 1.2%. And believe it or not, it's now below the lows it made late last December where we saw this ramp. Um, It's lost ground three of the last four weeks, and most importantly, all four of those weeks closed very tight within $1.22 of each other. And when we see breakdowns from that type of action, the moves tend to be explosive. The round number theory, I'm a big proponent of it, round number theory came into play last week was just the second weekly close below 100 in the last 11 months. I want you to enter this idea with a sell stop below a bearish descending triangle trigger of 99. A breakdown gives you a measured move to 81, and I'd use a buy stop of 102.25. And so, Doug, what about the fundamentals for this trade? Are you looking at any of that, or is it purely just based on the technicals? Again, purely price action. And there's no time horizon? No time horizon. Just let it work. As long as long, if, this, if the stock breaks out, or in this case breaks down, as long as the catalyst still exists, stay in the trade. 
So what are the biggest risks to both of these trades? Is it simply just looking at the price action and you know stop loss? Yes, yes. Just again, price action, the stops are in place. Once you know, before you even enter a trade, you want to know where you're getting out, you want to know where your losses are, and let the winners take care of themselves. Well, Doug, it was great to have you back on the show. Thanks so much, Jake. So Doug is both a bullish trade idea and a bearish trade idea for today. Specifically, he likes buying Cisco, ticker symbol CSCO, at 54.25 with a stop loss at 52 and a price target of 69. He also likes shorting Citrix Systems, ticker symbol CTXS, at 99 with a stop loss at 102.25 and a target price of 81. And that was Doug Bush of Chartsmarter.com. And for Real Vision, I'm Jake Merle.